They are two of the most outstanding riders in history, but they can't even shake hands. If it's no problem for me, no problem to shake hands. <laughs> and even though Valentino Rossi was Mark Marcus's childhood idol, their good relationship ended when they had to face each other on their motorbikes and bring out the best but also the worst in each other. The fierce controversies have even come at the cost of a MotoGP world title. If he don't have respect of me, I don't have respect of him. When Spaniard Marc Marquez made it into the top MotoGP category in 2013, Italian Valentino Rossi had already won the seven titles he holds to this day. Il Dottore was the young rider's idol and aspiration, while the seasoned champion saw the Spanish rider as a reflection of himself when he was just starting out in the big leagues. However, the excellent relationship between them deteriorated drastically until they became fierce rivals. The breaking point came in 2015, when Rossi literally kicked Marcus's motorcycle when he overtook him in Malaysia. Rossi, who was fighting neck and neck for the championship with Jorge Lorenzo, accused Marcus of hindering him during the race to benefit his compatriot. The Italian was penalized for his kick and ended up not only breaking off his relationship with Marquez, but also losing the world title. He makes his uh, dir dirty, dirty game, no? Although it was Rossi who was sanctioned, Il Dottore maintained his innocence and refused to greet Marquez. The Spaniard, meanwhile, began to achieve success winning back-to-back -back world titles and was closing in on the Italians' record fast. By the 2018 season, Marcus had four Premier Class titles to his name, when the hostilities with Rossi flared up again. A risky maneuver by the Spaniard in Argentina ended up throwing the Italian off his motorcycle. Oh, Although Marcus tried to apologize after the race, Rossi's staff denied him access. First of all, he don't have the boss to come in my office alone, but he come, uh, like always, with his manager, with the Honda, in front of all the camera, because uh, uh, what is important for him is this. He don't care about you, he don't care. So, uh, I don't want to speak with him, I don't want to say him close to me. Like this, uh, is, uh, he destroyed our phone. Obviously, speaking, I don't care, I just focus on, on my work and, uh, and I know what, uh, what happened. This clash reached its most tense point during a press conference when a reporter asked the two riders if they were willing to make amends. If it's no problem for me, no problem to say hi. But it's like this. I mean, what I can say, uh, already second time. But no, it's no problem, eh? I would raise it. We don't need, we don't need to shake the hand, we are okay. <laughs> We don't have any problem. Mar Marquez que tiene una una significancia, yo diría conceptual, que ha marcado una época con una nueva. Yo, yo, yo lo podría decir como una especie de tecnología nueva, una forma de manejar las motos completa y absolutamente diferente a cómo se manejaban hasta cuando él llega al campeonato del mundo. ¿Y qué pasó con, con, con Valentino Rossi? Tuvo que adaptarse a ese nuevo estilo y esa transición es para mí personalmente lo que hace De Valentino Rossi, probablemente la figura con mayor trascendencia en la historia del motociclismo mundial. Although they supposedly shook hands again in 2019, the rivalry between Valentino Rossi and Marc Marquez doesn't just come down to their controversies over the years, but also who will finish their career with the most MotoGP world titles.